here. That's me. You are watching a very special Halloween edition of Man vs. Dim, uh, the show where I take you uh, on a goddamn culinary adventure right here in my own kitchen. If you've seen the show before, you know that there are three very distinct courses. We start out, uh, number one, with the alcoholic appetizer. The second, of course, being the entree, and the third, a dessert. And since it is officially the candy corn season, tonight we will be dedicating this whole entire meal to these ridiculously little fucking disgusting sugar triangles. And a ton of you actually have been suggesting candy corn shot glasses, which is what we're gonna get started on right now. I actually uh, took it one step uh, further. I went above and fucking beyond. Earlier today, I grabbed some vodka and infused it with some candy corns. And this is what, this is what we're looking at. Everything is kind of like weirdly separated into this candy corn spectrum. Boom, candy corn vodka. We gotta make the shot glasses first. To start, you gotta get yourself one of these fancy little molds. And then you need to pick up these candy melts. And it's simple enough, you just melt these down uh, and you put them in the shot glasses. One layer at a time, starting with the yellow. Follow it up with the orange, top it off with the white. And then you gotta put these uh, over here in the fridge. Boom, you gotta let that uh, sit in there for about 30 minutes, which means you've got some You've got some time on your hands. And what better way to kill some time, wait for it, wait for it, than to play some best fiends. Oh, God damn, unapologetic sponsorship opportunity. That's right, this is not the first time that you've heard us talk about best fiends here on this channel. Yeah, you know what, you know what I'm talking about by now, the free puzzle adventure game where you collect and build a team of fiends to defeat slugs by matching same colored objects. This game, this game is the only game that I have in, in my phone right now, the, the only one. I downloaded it a couple of years back and boom, I just continue to play it. I'm on level 133. I haven't done 133 of, of anything consecutive ever in my entire life. You don't even need an internet connection to play the game. Better yet, this month, Best Fiends is having their biggest holiday update of all time. You can win massive prizes, you can win a new character, and if you download the game using my link down in the description, you get $5 worth of free gold and diamonds. Trust me, that is a big deal. Not to mention that it is completely free to download. You've got room on your phone for another app. I know, you just cleared a whole bunch of pictures. You've got room. So go hit that up uh, and let's jump back into this project. Uh, it's been 30 minutes, right? <laughs> that feels like it was 30 minutes. Let's go check on our shot glasses. Da -da -da -da! Candy corn shot glasses. You can already kind of see them peeking through and they look pretty good. All right, bust these things out. Don't mess it up, don't mess it up. Don't break it, don't break it. Oh, shit. Are you seeing this right now? I know you are because I'm I'm showing it to you right here. This is it. Look at that. How disappointed you must be that I didn't fucking cut off my finger or some other bullshit. Here goes the second one. Oh my goodness. Damn. The best part about these is that they are not made out of candy corn bullshit. This is just like white chocolate, which is, eh, is equally as disgusting, but not as terrible as candy corn. All right, let's fill these fuckers up. Oh God, that looks absolutely terrible. Oh yeah, here we go. Happy Halloween, everybody. Oh, that was good. That like didn't even taste like vodka. What? Damn, going in for round two. Mm. By the way, there's no leakage in any of these. These are pretty rock corn solid. Oh, and they're delicious. Mm. <laughs> you gotta hold on, you gotta try this. All right, don't tell your parents. Mm, right? Get, oh, I'll finish it up. Mm. Now I'm starting to not feel good. All right, moving right along to our uh, to our entree. This is inspired by this asshole on Twitter who thought it was a good idea to just take candy corns and put them on top of a pizza. I'm gonna pop this in the oven uh, over here uh, and then uh, probably like cook it for about half of its cycle and then bring it back out and put these little uh, candy corns on top. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to create an actual edible candy corn pizza. And by that I mean I'm 
taking another one of these cheese pizzas and I'm just, I'm taking some different colored cheeses uh, and I'm going to arrange them in the order of a candy corn. I got some sharp cheddar right here, that's an orange. Uh, I got some mozzarella over here to act as the white. And then I got a, I got a six cheese Italian that I'm just gonna sprinkle some yellow food coloring into. Boom, yellow cheese. Uh, but before I put all those on, I'm gonna pop this in there for a minute real quick just to get that going. I don't know. I don't know how these are gonna turn out. Uh, I don't know. What I do know is that this right here, this is this is the winner of the evening. Ugh. Yeah. Is it really 2:44 in the morning? <laughs> Oh wait, I gotta be I gotta be using these. There we go. There we go. Is it done? I think we're done. Oh yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Boom. You're just sprinkling these on. What do you think about that? Look at this fucking waste of a pizza. All right, we're gonna put it back in now. Here we go. See you in a minute. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, it smells fucking terrible in here. All right, so we got our pizza here, uh, and now we've just got to imitate this uh, color combo here, the yellow, orange, and white. Yeah! <laughs> oh, and then with the mozzarella in the middle. Oh, shit. This is the candy corn pizza that the internet should be going crazy over. Can you see it? Can you see it right there? Look, let me cut it into a little triangle. Boom! Candy corn pizza! All right, it is time to throw it back into the oven for just a couple more minutes. Taking that one out and putting this one right in there. Look at that. Oh, it's just melting into the crust right there. It's almost formed like a, almost like a gelatinous plastic layer of sugar and cheese on top, which uh, may be delicious. I don't know. Let's dig in. Let's go for it. Ha. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is fucking delicious! Wow! Mm, mm. Ah, 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 ah. Know that I hate candy corns, but at this point it doesn't even taste like candy corns because the candy corns kind of blend with the cheese and it kind of, it's like a cheesy, sugary delight. Oh, big fan, big fan over here. Mmm, I got another pizza in there. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh, shit. Shit, shit. It's burning down the house. Okay, cut that up into triangles with the yellow and the orange and the white. It kind of works. It's not that great, but it's a thought that counts, right? To be honest with you, this isn't as fing good as the candy corn pizza. Wow, there's the action right there. I don't know if I can ever go back to regular pizza again. All right, well, we're, we're moving on to, to dessert. Woo! Uh, tonight we're gonna be making, what are we making? For dessert tonight, we are going to be making a delicacy, a finely prepared, deep fried candy corn. Now for this dessert, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need some frosted flakes. You're gonna need some bisquick, some powdered sugar, some eggs, uh, some candy corn, obviously. You just kind of take all these things and you mix them all together into like a batter and <laughs> that's it. That's all you do. Okay, throw a few more candy corns in here. Then I guess you just take like a, a like an ice cream scooper, maybe? Uh, and you just kind of scoop a, some of it up there. And you just drop it in there. Boom. Smelling good. Looking good. Somebody, it's like a, it's like a fritter. A little candy corn fritter. There we go. Pretty goddamn successful so far. This whole candy corn dinner. I'm shocked. I know you had come here for the disappointment, but guess what? Not this time. Not this time. Oh, come on. Take a look at that. There is just, there is candy corns just dripping out of this thing. That's some um, Minnesota State Fair shit right there. There, hold on. It's gonna get better. Oh shit! Making it snow. God damn it! Woo! Fuck it. Get crazy with it. Woo! <coughs> okay, too much powdered sugar. Holy shit! What? The fuck? All right, we're giving it a go. Here we go. Oh, life is good. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's like a candy corn center in this one. You, you right there. Thanks for suggesting this. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, you need to try this. <laughs> right? F***ing delicious! Mmm. I f***ing hate candy corn, but I am loving the shit out of this. I got 
I'm putting it down. You know what? I'm actually stuck over here. I don't know what the name of this episode is. Is it going to be DIY candy corn shot glasses, DIY deep fried candy corn, or DIY candy corn pizza? I don't know. If you liked what you saw here, subscribe. Uh, if you didn't, uh, I'm not sure why you stuck around this long. One more thing. If you are going to be around uh, October 25th, Corinne and I are going to be doing our third annual Man vs. Corinne vs. Pin Pumpkin Carving Challenge Extravaganza. Uh, and we're going to be doing it live. And we're giving you the ability to participate because we are selling over on Threadbanger.com our Threadbanger Basic Bitch Carving Kit. Not only are our faces on it, but the stencils inside are uh, very show specific. We got Finger McFickerton, we got Vampire Corinne, the Threadbanger logo, our cat some reason. This is actually the absolute last weekend that you can buy them uh, in order to get them shipped to you in time for the live stream. Pick one up, threadbanger.com, six bucks. Do me a favor, like up this video, hit that subscribe button, uh, and I'll see you around here uh, next time, whatever, whenever. That is, however, whatever, however we get there. Oh, I can't reach. I can't reach it. Can't, that, that transition is impossible. I'm just gonna walk out this way. See ya!